go up to the top and look for some in Pala, some of the young ones that have just started getting horns and John is letting me hunt this one by myself so he said he's not going to tell me what to do but when we were doing our practice shooting my first two were slightly right and then we adjusted it on the gun and then I went slightly left so um, it was still tight grouping but not like immaculate um, so that's why I'm going to aim for the, the base yeah middle of the neck base of the skull and then we're going to load it up, take it back down to the shed, skin it, and to make the meat. As I was about to take the shot, Jono warned me there was a stick in the way, but the one that I was aiming for was clear, so I thought, no, I'm fine. Um, but it was just staring straight at me, and like I said earlier, I didn't want to take a, a straight on headshot, I wanted to aim for the base of the snake, so I was waiting for it to turn, and it just wouldn't turn and turn, and the one next to it turned away. So I just took the opportunity, but with that, when I moved, I did move into the way of the branches. So Jonah thinks that maybe the bullet just deflected a bit because I actually thought the shot was good. So I aimed for the base of the neck and I got lucky because you can see that's quite a way off but still ended up 
dropping it um, and not spoiling too much of the meat because it just came out the top of the neck. Um, but you can see that while we were targeting these uh, specific males because the horns here are not good genetics, they're very tight at the tip, um, angling in. So, and he's big enough that he still has a good body for meat, but we'll take this out of the herd, this bad genetics, so that we're only breeding with rams that have really nice um, horn formation. What do you reckon? We actually haven't gone there yet. What happened? Um, so I was, earlier saw one with one horn and then I thought I saw him in the distance again so we were creeping up on him but he turned his head and I couldn't see the left hand side so I wanted to confirm that it was the one with one horn so I waited and then he turned his head away to feed into the bush and then I saw he only had one horn but then I was a little hesitant to shoot him in the ba base of the skull so I waited and as he turned his head to take another bite I shot and I feel like it was a good one so why is it important to take the ones with the one horn out um because when they fight with the other males if this one has two horns and this one has one they don't lock horns so the one with one horn ends up injuring all the rest let's have a look this is the nerve-wracking part it's even more nerve-wracking than taking the shot I think I see him right where I aim. That is like exactly where I aim. I'm so chuffed. 
and he's got one horn. I'm, I mean, I confirmed it, but there's always that moment where you start to doubt yourself. And I mean, I've, I've made doubly sure. I'm so chuffed at this. This is textbook perfect. Yes. Sorry, old guy. See the one in the middle that's standing broadside? Yeah. Pretty good for him. Well, some would be nice and comfortable. Just another bar on the base of his neck. The one closest to us? Yeah. Or the one further? Which the one you're comfortable with? Let me see. Yeah, the one further is bigger. Look. The one's an easy shot. Okay. So this one was a bit of a further shot in the open and I got set up and then I was trying to explain to Jono which one I was going for and as they were they were kind of walking away from us I saw one stop and turn broadside and it had its um, horns were very tight and so I said actually I'm changing my mind to that one and I think I might have confused Jono a bit but I could see him in my scope and he was standing perfectly and his horns weren't good. I took the shot and he went straight down. I was so excited because it was a good shot, it felt good. I saw him fall through the scope and Jono missed it. So now I, I know he's down there and I'm gonna go and show Jono. Yes, 
so I'd say today was a success because the point of it was to get meat for the school and we needed three animals and we got three animals, um, three bullets so I wasn't wasting ammunition, made my husband very proud and it was a lot of fun for us, it's um, something we both enjoy doing so it's quality time together and spending the day outside, it's just a wonderful day all round and something that we can feel good about at the end of the day. We enjoy hunting but also knowing that it's going towards a good cause.